The next topic we'll be covering is single sign-on and enter ID. Single sign-on and enter ID is a feature that allows users to authenticate once with enter ID and then access multiple applications and services without having to authenticate again. When a user signs into enter ID with their credentials, enter ID creates a security token that can be used to access other resources within the same organization. This token can be used to authenticate the user to other cloud-based or on-premises applications that have been integrated with enter ID. SSO supports a wide range of applications, including cloud-based applications such as Microsoft 365, Salesforce, and Dropbox, as well as on-premises applications such as SharePoint and SAP. SSO can also be used with custom-built applications using industry-standard protocols such as SAML, OpenID Connect, and OAuth. There are several ways you can configure an application for SSO. Choosing an SSO method depends on how the application is configured for authentication. Cloud applications can use OpenID Connect, OAuth, SAML, password-based, or linked for SSO. Single sign-on could also be disabled. On-premises applications can use password-based, integrated Windows authentication, header-based, or linked for SSO. The on-premises choices work when applications are configured for application proxy. This flowchart can help you decide which SSO method is best for your situation. The main SSO protocol supported in Azure include OpenID Connect and OAuth. OpenID Connect is an identity layer built on top of OAuth 2.0. It allows for authentication and authorization of users in a secure and standardized manner. It is SAML. SAML is an XML-based protocol used for exchanging authentication and authorization data between an identity provider and a service provider. It is commonly used for federated authentication scenarios. Password-based authentication, this refers to the traditional username, password authentication method where users provide their credentials directly to authenticate. Linked authentication, Azure provides the ability to link multiple accounts from different identity providers to a single user identity. This allows users to authenticate using any of their linked accounts. Integrated Windows Authentication, it will let users access applications using their Windows domain credentials, utilizing their current Windows session for authentication. Header-based authentication, in this method, the application accepts an authentication token in the form of a header in each request. The token is validated by the application to authenticate the user. You'll need to be familiar with these SSO protocols as there will be questions asking you which SSO protocol is best suited for a specific application. What is multi-factor authentication? As security control where after you fill in your username, email, and password, you have to use a second device such as a phone to confirm that it's you logging in. MFA protects against people who have stolen your password. MFA is an option in most cloud providers and even social media websites such as Facebook. So that's an overview of single sign-on and enter ID.